as John said, it's the final week of our Be Rich campaign. And over the last two weeks, um, I've had the pleasure to share with you some information from Moreland's Family Centre about how our crisis fund has impacted um, the clients there and the staff there. Um, we've also been able to share with you how members of our church family have served within the community. And this week, it gives me great pleasure to introduce a friend of MKCC and the CEO of MK Act, Sue Burke. So it's not Sue, welcome. Okay. So, um, MK Act is a local charity that is committed to, um, well, for over 40 years, committed to practically and emotionally helping and supporting those who are going through or affected by domestic abuse. So, Sue, um, since the crisis fund has been in place, now, MK Hat Act, the practitioners there have not been backward in coming forward Sorry when it comes that. to applying. No, <laughs> no, that's all good. The, so, they have been applying and they've been um, receiving um, help for, their, for clients that have been coming to you. Is that on? I think, oh, there we go. It is, yeah. 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 So, um, does this reflect... <clears throat> Does this reflect a current climate in that area? I'd say it does. Um, my team love this fund because often there's situations where we really want to help but we can't because um, we don't necessarily have the money or we don't know where to access it. So this has given us a really easy way to access um, if uh, one of our clients needs something particular. So I think we've seen a 30% increase of people accessing our service over the recent years. I think people um, have more complex situations. I think they have less. I think they have more demands. Um, so that obviously puts pressure on the team in trying to support people as much as possible. Okay. And I believe that you have some stories to share with us. I do. So fire away. So I've got four, um, I asked my team and I said, could anybody give me any people that have been helped by this wonderful fund? So I've got four. Um, can, you, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah. yeah so I've got four. So there was uh, one woman who had recently had a baby um, who had to flee straight from hospital without any belongings for her or her baby. The client was so grateful to be given some money to help her set her um, herself up at the refuge and the lady also received some food vouchers um, to get her food for her and her baby son which was amazing um, another woman had to flee due to being in a domestic abuse relationship and she'd been living out of a suitcase and living on people's sofas for a number of months um, she finally got placed in temporary accommodation and the money helped her to set herself up in you know buying things like kitchen utensils and that sort of thing uh, another one, um, oh, she didn't, a lady didn't have a bed for her son. Her son had additional needs. Um, so the grant enabled her to buy a bed for her son. And then the final one, this one's a bit longer. Um, so uh, applied for funding for a refuge resident who was having some issues getting her children to school. So she lived on, used to live on the other side of the city from the refuge. And we do sometimes struggle to get children into schools near the refuge so she still had to go to the old school um, but obviously due to restricted funds she had to get two buses it was really expensive to get the children from school in the morning so um, your money helped pay for a two-month bus pass so that they could get the children to school until they were able to get to a school nearby and the resident said today about the pass, I am a lot less stressed and get around much easier. I don't have to worry about finding money to get to places. So thank you very much. And that's, that's the thank you to, to all of you. And, Definitely. And yeah, um, on behalf of me, on behalf of Sue, um, that the difference that if we, of, of, of contributing 10 pounds, is 10 pounds worth that? Yes, it is, you know, definitely across what a little bit from one person can do, all of us can add together and make a huge difference. So, um, Sue, you have the ear of just around 500 people. Okay. What can we do to continue to help you in terms of... Um, I think keep doing what you're doing. Um, 
it's such a massive help having access to this money. Uh, we can't thank you enough, really. <clears throat> um, there are opportunities to volunteer for MK Act. Uh, outside is the stall, and there's leaflets about volunteering. Uh, we also have posters and leaflets to so spread the word about how people can access our services. If you work anywhere or um, in the community, putting up posters. Um, and also we've got a new project. We know that Milton Keynes is growing um, and we always feel that we need to serve the community of Milton Keynes. And we're in the process, we're right at the beginning of building an additional refuge building. Um, so if anyone's interested in talking about that and supporting us with that, that would be amazing. Um, but I think just keep doing what you're doing. Paul Oxley of um, St Mark's MK always says to me that you're not a Christian organisation, but you do Jesus work. Um, and I hope that we're able to do a bit of Jesus' work on your behalf um, in giving Fantastic. us that money. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Sue.